Hello, welcome to Let's Play Dark Souls Part 27. Here we are, back at Firelink Shrine. Last time we uh, we finally wrapped things up with uh, the Witch of Izalith and her whole Lord Soul questline down in Lava Land. So here we are, back in Firelink Shrine, to uh, continue our favorite character's questline. Um, although this isn't Siegmeier, this is his daughter. So let's uh, see what she has to say. Well, hello again. I have finally located my father. All of your help was invaluable to us. Thank you so much. I was finally able to pass on my mother's last words. So, uh, yeah, she finally got to meet with her father. Um, anything else to say? My father? He went on his final adventure. Don't worry. That's just the way he is. Undead or no. Sort of reassuring, really. He goes hollow. I'll just have to kill him again. Yeah, again, another very dark storyline. You now she's very, uh, probably got some daddy issues. You know, he was always running off doing adventures, not spending time with her. Um, very eerie that last line. She said, kill him again. As if, uh, you know, she's probably done it more than once. My father, he went on his final adventure. Don't worry. Yeah, so she'll just keep saying that. So now that we've talked to her, there's only one last thing we got to do for the quest line. And uh, to do that, we're going to get started by uh, going back to where we were. <laughs> That's right, we do have to warp one last time to the Daughter of Chaos. Um, thankfully, we won't have to be going down back into the Demon Ruins. Um, we'll be crossing through the swampy area. But yeah, this is the fastest way to get to like the bottom of Blight Town, kind of. Um, and with that being said, we are gonna want to put on our rusted iron ring, of course. Uh, we're going somewhere that we've actually been before, but we, I sort of uh, put a pin in it and uh, said we were gonna do this later. And uh, yeah, that time, that time is now. So uh, you might be able to remember where it was. It was where we got the Chloranthy ring. That'll be that'll be a hint. But uh, yeah, we got got a little bit of a hike ahead of us between now and then. Um, coming back through. Yeah, Dark Souls is nice, or bad, depending on how you like it, that it makes you sort of revisit a lot of places that you've been. Um, not necessarily to that you have to go there again, but that you'll have to pass through. Like, we've had to run through this old boss room a few times. At first it was like the crazy battlefield, and now it's just the quiet area. Uh, yeah, these guys are still praying to their dead queen. Very, very sad life. And up here, finally get. Um, oh, we actually can see the sky from here. Very interesting, yeah. Flight Town definitely feels underground, but it's a very, very deceptive in this game. So let's just book it and be brave. I'm not gonna bother stopping at the middle bonfire here. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Let's try to not get hit by rocks. Watch out for the bugs, but at this point, we're very, very over leveled for this area, so it shouldn't have too many problems. The poison can't be over leveled for poison. You kind of can. There is this one stat, which, uh, what is it here? It's the resistance, I think. I think if you put that up, it'll raise your defense and your resistances to things, but I literally don't think you ever <laughs> want to level that up because it's like not as good as it seems. Um, like you'll, you'll just get a lot more mileage for a level by like increasing your damage or whatever. Let's uh, dodge the leeches there. Well, I am curious like if you made a build that was just your uh, vitality and resistance. See how much of a tank you can become. So yeah, if you remember here, this was that double illusory wall, right? There was one right there to hide the treasure chest and then there was another sneaky one behind it. That takes us over here to the Great Hollow. And the reason we're doing this now is uh, for a few reasons. Um, mainly is you don't, I'd really recommend not going down this route <laughs> until you uh, can teleport. Um, that's if you're gonna get to the very bottom. Um, you can still sort of dip your toe in here. And uh, real quick, I am gonna attune a spell here called, I think I picked it up. Uh, did I not get it? Okay. 
Never mind, that might be down the road, I just realized. But um, there's a spell which, um, I think it's called Fall Control, where you'll take less fall damage. Um, it's very handy here, but I think I just remembered that's, we get that in the catacombs, I believe, where we haven't gone to yet. So yeah, if you remember, right, we just came in, we just jumped into there, and then we got ourselves the Clarenthy Ring, which was uh, the ring that boosts our stamina recovery. Ooh, and there's a Crystal Wizard. A lot of those here. Um, Remember too. So this is like a secret area, right? So besides that ring, pretty much the rest of the stuff that you find here is going to just be upgrade material or things that you don't, um, you know, like optional things, like some soul items and this and that. So with that being said, this can be a very tricky area to navigate. So um, I'm going to sort of take what I can get, but I'm definitely not going to get all the items here. Um, oh, yeah, if you heard that croaking... That's, uh, we're gonna have to deal with these guys, which, um, as long as we're careful, I might actually, whoa, pop a humanity here, because that will increase your resistance by quite a bit. Oh boy. We will one-shot them. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out. Whoa. And there we go. Okay. Not too bad. <laughs> Just remember, never panic. And everything will be okay. Now, there's definitely going to be a few more of these guys around here. And I just realized I used the humanity, but I need to uh, <laughs> go to the bonfire. That's right. I've been playing a little bit of Dark Souls 3. Um, and in that game, you, you don't use humanity. They're called embers. And like rather than having your humanity back, you're... Um, emberized or something. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk more about that um, if we eventually get around to playing Dark Souls 3. Um, but yeah, just as far as like gameplay-wise, you don't have to go back to a bonfire to apply it. Just a little more handy. So, um, yeah, this is when <laughs> things start to get confusing. Um, ooh, there's a ladder here. Okay, that's not too bad. Normally, yeah, normally I'm dropping down trying to collect items and I usually just get myself killed, but kind of just want to get to the bottom of this thing today. Um, I do recommend that if you're in need of stuff, you do that. Um, a lot of green titan, a lot of chunks too, like of all colors. So this is a great place to actually come if like you're, you're trying to do some character building where you want to get your guy decked out with a strong weapon early on. Um, you can come in here without teleportation. Just make sure you don't rest at the bonfire that's going to be at the bottom because uh, this place can be a bit of a slog to make your way up and out. Um, you know, gravity's on our side when we're going down, but um, when we're going up, it's uh, can make things more challenging. Although that being said, going down, we can fall and die and take fall damage. Whereas with uh, going up, it's not as big of a deal, but you can definitely slip and still that problem. And I'm looking at it because there are some easy, I want to see if I can get some basic, yeah, like this one here is, I'll, I'll, I'll just grab it because it's like right there. And we get blue chunk, which I don't need. Um, oh boy. Yeah, it's uh... uh that's the one you want to watch out for, I think. Uh oh. Oh god. Thought that was it. I really don't like these guys. Let's go. Oh okay. god. Let's be careful. And there we go. Okay, so uh, may as well grab this item too. Yep, soul item. So let's keep making our way down here, right? Um, and again, if it's not obvious where we are, this is uh, this is just a giant tree, and we're in the middle of it. Um, specifically, I believe it's called an ancient arch tree something. Okay, um, I, I should have known <laughs> that before I got in, but basically, if you remember from the um, intro cutscene, one of the first things it said was, like, in the beginning, all there was was a land of gray crags and giant arch trees. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're in one of those right now, and everlasting dragons, of course. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, continuing onwards. I'm going down this arch tree, it's taking us to down and down further in Lurgen. Um But now that things are getting a little more mushroomy, you'll notice too that oh, we got these little ones. And these ones are got a little bit more bite to them than the ones in Darkroot Garden that we're just sort of helplessly running away. 
Don't underestimate them because um, <laughs> if, uh, if a gang of them gets on you, they will uh, they will do a lot of damage to you. All right, so there's two more. Let's see if we can. Okay, watch out for that attack, dude. They'll just like flop forward and will uh, usually stun you. Okay. Ow. Ow. Can't see. You get staggered. And when there's like five of them charging at you doing that, you'll, uh, you'll have a rough time getting out of that alive. Uh, okay, coming down here. The parents are not going to be very happy that we've been slaughtering the kids. Now, if you fall down, be careful not to get cornered because that's when you're really in trouble <laughs> with these big ones. Um, now, what we can actually do is give a big green play here. We'll sort of like lower them up and then... Um, no, we can just drop down. <laughs> yeah, the art of war is to win without fighting, right? Um, okay, um, it's a bit slow. Let's just. Okay, they're blocking me off. Okay, this is. might be in trouble. I might be in big trouble here. Um, Alright, let's uh, go on the offense. Let's trigger for the 1 2. After the 2, you can definitely fight. Oh, and that's actually. Oh, God. Okay, let's just, let's just uh, sneak out of here. <laughs> Alrighty, so they're not going to be able to fit through there. Um, the small ones might. Yeah. Just take them out real quick. Um, oh god, they are coming. Alright, let's just uh, <laughs> let's just get out of here. Uh, so this is not a boss. Um, this is going to take us here to another secret area. Ash Lake. This is a very, very interesting area. Now I'm trying to try not to look down there yet. Hear the cool music playing. It sounds a little quiet. I might actually raise the volume here. I was listening to some recordings and I thought music was a bit high, but you gotta, you gotta appreciate this. There's another Hydra over there chilling, by the way. Uh, we'll get to that in a second here. But first, over here. Is the bonfire in the finale of the Sieg Meyer questline? And for our troubles, we get a Titanite sled. And here he is. Ultimately, Siegmeier went hollow, and it's kind of our fault in a few ways. Um, if we go over and think, like, our interactions with Siegmeier, right? Like, he was on an adventure, he faced some hurdles along the way, things like the gate, the boulders, the, the knights in Anerlando, the, uh, the swamp poison, and I think finally the, uh, the, the demons, those yellow things that we helped kill. And each time it was up to us to do it for him, and, um, you know, it's sort of that feeling of like you know he's uh, he's not able to pull his own weight. You know what I mean? Now, personally, I think he does pull his own weight to some degree. You know, um, I don't want him to feel that on himself, but that's sort of what chipped away at him and what ultimately cost him his humanity. And um, on top of the fact that he's got a daughter that he's um, trying to not spend too much time with, the whole thing I guess just got to him, and finally he's here, and his daughter had to put him down, and. Um, yeah. Another sad story, but that's fitting for Dark Souls, right? Let's see anything else to say. <laughs> so yeah. Very sad. But um let's uh have a little moment of silence for Sigmar. 
And with that, let's uh, reset the bonfire. And uh, see what else this place is hiding. May as well for something. The, uh, the Hydra fight coming up can be a bit tricky. <laughs> so hopefully I don't die, but we'll see. Same idea as the one we fought last time in uh, Dark Root Guard. Where we're going to want to sort of draw out its lunge attacks. But um, the water bolts are going to be a lot more deadly. Um, you may be tempted to hide on this side of the ridge for cover, but don't do that because you'll, uh, you'll just slide right off and die. Now, is there an item over there? I don't remember exactly. But yeah, we got a bit of a, a gauntlet to run here. Uh, we're going to see something cool in a second here. Um, it's dragon scale. Very nice. Um, okay, I think we can hide here for cover, but I won't be able to go too far, so let's just... Oh yeah, he's already shooting water. Okay, I think up here it's a little less steep. Go back up. Oh yeah. So, um, I think you can fight him here, but he will do this really cool thing here. Ah, he got me. Oh, there you go. So as you can see, he just submerged. And now, oh yeah, he's taking a leap of faith. <laughs> Very majestic. Um, he did wake up that clam, uh, which we fought in the Crystal Caves. This one technically isn't a proper clam. It's like a non-crystal version, so it's a little less weak. Still very dangerous. Yeah, let's get to the main event here. Um, although, oh, wow. there's another one. Bigger fish to fry. Oh boy. Okay, okay. You. See, this is the problem. I think. I don't think he's actually gonna do the lunges for a while. Yeah, we gotta get farther ahead for that. So let's uh, keep running. And of course, if you do have a projectile, this is a lot more simpler. Oh. Again, just stick to the rule of Dark Souls running where you just. Keep going, no matter what, and you'll probably be safe. Now, I do recall, I think over here is where you can finally fight him. Attack, can we? Wow, we can actually hit him. <laughs> Without even waiting for him. So, once you hear the growl, get your shield up. Um, yeah, it's almost a little easier since it's so close up. Two down. And again, be careful because um, if you go too far in the water, you'll just sort of sink and fall and die. Oh, that that hit. Yeah, I think two more. Two more. Oh, careful not to fall off there. Cam. It's just these three heads left. And I'm gonna switch two hands. Ah, uh, one more, one more, I think. Oh, three heads left. There we go. And it's down. Alrighty, for our troubles, we'll get another dragon, two dragon scales actually. And uh, if it wasn't clear, that one, it won't respawn, <laughs> so we're good, we're done. Let's uh, move on. Uh, so over here, we'll find something neat, and uh, I believe we have to, oh, watch out for this guy. I don't want to come all this way and then get cursed. Uh, yeah, we want to drop down here very carefully, and I'm literally on air. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're good. Um, so now if we go up the secret tunnel, we'll find ourselves something pretty cool. Great magic barrier. 
Um, this is a cool spell. Um, we gotta be a little careful here. Let's um, take out these guys. Oh, that would hurt. Ah, uh, sure, we'll fight him. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I have an idea. He's like plant type, right? Like it's fucking, or grass type, probably. Maybe fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna get hit by the lava for sure. Okay. And one more should do it. Alrighty, so. Here we'll take us just back outside. And I wonder, I think if we're going up this way, we'll take us back on that route we were walking on outside. Let's also heal up here. So yeah, the Great Magic Barrier, that's one of uh, Havel's spells, if you remember. Um, and that's another spell that sort of tells a little mini story. So Havel, he, uh, he was very anti-magic, specifically because he was very anti-dragon right like he fought with Gwyn in the original great dragon wars um, he hated the dragons his weapon is called the dragon tooth because he just ripped it out of a dragon's mouth and just started smacking people with it so yeah, he hates dragons then if you remember i was talking about this in the duke's archives um seath is the inventor of all magic and seath being a dragon um uh, you know do the math uh Havel's not a fan of magic so him being in conflict with magic is uh, why he developed that miracle because um, the way that works is it'll it'll like wrap your whole body in like a bubble um, or rather a bunch of bubbles for all your limbs and stuff looks pretty cool and you'll just have a lot of magic resistance um, there's just a normal magic barrier uh, which is a lesser version but yeah that's Havel and um, part of why if you remember we found um, we found uh, we found him in a locked tower, right? Like he was locked up. We needed a special key to get to him because he was he was put there for his um, for a reason. Um, he was put there by Gwyn, actually. And the reason he was put there is, um, if you remember, we went to that secret basement and found his armor in that chest where we killed the mimic. We got an occult club, and that was basically his side weapon. And what a cult is is. It specifically does damage against the gods, and Gwyn being a god. So the uh, the theory which um, everyone's put together is that Havel was not happy that Gwyn gave Seath his soul. He saw it as betrayal, and then Havel figured it was time to uh, get Gwyn out of power. <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyway, speaking of dragons, we have one last thing here to see. So we've killed a Hydra, which is an aquatic dragon. We've found several dragon scales. And uh, we're in a very epic, spooky location. If we continue on down the path, what we're going to find is this. If we go up to it, this is an everlasting dragon. One of the last ones surviving. So we can, uh, we can pray to it and actually join a covenant. that we have dragon headstone and the dragon eye and uh, we can offer dragon scales to it if we want to level it up I'm not gonna do that because um, I'd rather save dragon scales for upgrading dragon weapons and uh, yeah with this being our new god um, the first thing we're gonna want to do is fight it of course so this being a dragon it does have a uh, tail so <laughs> you can guess what we're about to do to it yeah, I think this is the most like secretive thing when you think about it in Dark Souls, right? Like, so we have this double secret area. We have the secret boss, and then you have to get to the secret boss's secret tail to get the secret weapon, which is the dragon greatsword. One of the uh, cooler dragon weapons. Um, don't think we're going to have the stats for it, unfortunately. Yeah, 50 strength. Um, ultra greatsword, dragon type. So uh, yeah, if you remember the drake sword, the one that we got from the red dragon, um, that one I said is bad because it doesn't scale long term. That's not the case for all dragon weapons. Um, this one in particular, I don't remember exactly, but it has... Uh... Okay, I was wrong. This has no scaling, but the difference is that it's so big and beefy 
that you can actually probably use it for a while. You do pretty good. Let's put my friend back on, by the way. Another fun fact is, uh, since this is an everlasting dragon, it's actually invincible, which means uh, you can keep smacking it, and you'll see damage values go up, but it actually won't die, and it actually won't care, right? So we kill it, its health bar is down, but it doesn't die. Um, you know, being an everlasting dragon, you can't kill it. And this was the problem that Gwyn kind of solved. His mystical thunderbolts were able to peel off the dragon scales and kill it. That being said, I don't think you can actually shoot lightning at it to get around it, so <laughs> this thing ain't dying. But yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Just like this majestic, intimidating force of nature here. But yeah, that that's Ash Lake. Um, here is a bonfire that you can use. I think, yeah, we can level up. It's uh, a little bit more vitality. And then we can warp out of here. And so this is where I was saying that don't come down here until you can warp, um, unless you want to walk all the way back and then climb all the way up the tree just to get the light down. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, let's warp somewhere nice here. Let's go back to fire the shrine. And uh, I guess we'll be in the dragons for a bit. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to show off that thing he gave us, the dragon headstone. We'll do that real quick. Um, so here's our red funny face. If you forgot, this is what we look like. But if we go ahead and um, use that dragon thing here. Uh, stone view to power dragons. Right, pass on gain. Yeah. yeah, so gain head of a dragon, emit dragon breath. And um, yeah, you use it and straight up. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> now we're a dragon guy. Um, and oh, that's right. I need to actually equip it on here to get the full effect. If you hold down X, you'll actually rawr, shoot some fire. Yeah, really cool. Uh, the downsides, of course, being that you uh, can't actually wear a helmet when you're like this. And uh, you also cannot go back until you die. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. Um, if you keep working your way up through the Covenant, you will um, get another one that'll transform your whole body. And then you just like these swipe and claw attacks. Um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, there's also the downside of you can't use a weapon at that point, And you take way more lightning damage. <laughs> Plus, you don't get to wear armor, so you take more damage in general. So yeah, just a cool little Easter egg-y kind of thing that if you really know what you're doing, you can take advantage of. But if you're going for what's most effective, uh, there's definitely better better things out there. But I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll rock the dragon head <laughs> until I die. Um, but yeah, we're about that wrapping up point now. So guys, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed the many secrets that Dark Souls has to offer. Uh, next time we'll be starting another new area. This time we'll be going for the uh, Grave Lord Mito, the first of the dead. Uh, but yeah, we'll save that for next time. Guys, again, thank you for watching, and see you next time.